events of today have rekindled memories of Kenya's dark days when parliamentary sessions were routinely disrupted by protesting opposition figures. Back then it was about political reforms. This time it was about allegations that those very reforms were now being rolled back. KTN's associate editor Noel Tieno reports on what was a clear case of history repeating itself. All right. Come closer, come closer, sir. Yeah, yeah. Very close. Very close. No. Am I safe yeah. with you? <laughs> just there, just there. Budget day, June 19th, 1997. After driving the government to the edge with the clamor for constitutional reforms, with the no reforms, no election slogan and riots, the National Constitution Executive Council, NCEC, had prepared the country for defiance. The opposition MPs were ready to disrupt the budget speech by the then finance minister, Musalia Mudavadi. They fought for the maize. They fought each other. They chanted. The government side was appalled and angry. The head of state, Daniel Moy, looked on in silence in his classic presidential pose. Several times, the finance minister tried to proceed with his budget speech, but the opposition would not relent. Several chanting MPs waving banners in the house. Some tried to plead with the speaker to create a midway ground to accommodate the disgruntled MPs. The speaker, in order to sell, may I appeal to the chair that the House adjourned to discuss the matter of the Constitution and the standing order of the And I have also quoted particular 23B, which allows the chair to decide to decline any motion which, in the opinion of the chair, is frivolous. And so it was hours of showdown. But the speaker, the president, and the finance minister stayed in their places. The proceedings continued. Several MPs were kicked out of the house. They went, but defiantly. Just like with the Security Laws Amendment Bill 2014, the demand for constitutional reform then was a high-stakes game in which the president was not willing to appear weak and the opposition was not willing to back down. And just like this Thursday, the government forced through its business. But the clamor for constitutional reform would gather pace through the rest of 1997, forcing the government then to cede some ground and agree to the constitutional talks that began under the inter-parties parliamentary group IPPG. The attempts to change the supreme law would continue for more than a decade before the constitution of Kenya 2010 became a reality. No, you know, KTN Prime.